Hi, I'm Kendall with the Rawls Group. The old African proverb, it takes a village, illustrates the essential nature of a team approach to succession planning. Succession planning is a complex endeavor. As such, it requires leveraging the expertise of a diversity of backgrounds. Collaboration and different expert opinions provides a 360 degree approach, ensuring the possible, probable, and potential issues impacting your long-term vision are addressed. To provide insight into common questions received from business owners, we are leveraging the village of our valued strategic relationships. As you listen to this episode, you'll be able to immediately apply the key takeaways and you'll come back for more. Now we're going to focus on, what does the new normal look like for industries that rely on customer interactions, such as franchise, food, retail, and dealerships? The new normal looks a lot like the old normal, except it's just pivoted in a way that focuses on customer's health and safety. The new normal will bring those customer experiences into a place where they can feel comfortable, where the businesses can feel comfortable about safety. It's figuring out how to take an experience and pivot it into a world where you can't have the same one-on-one -on -one close contact. Maybe it's more internet presence, maybe it's working remotely using other types of technology. It's still focused on the customer, but in a different way. These, the industries and the companies that can be innovative, that can think outside the box, that are more forward thinking, those are gonna be the ones that survive this. Ones lamenting the loss of the old normal will probably not be as successful. Well, the future is going to look much like the past. Interaction with your customers is going to take place. The only question is where and how. Uh, where, in many cases, is in these tremendous um, um, houses where you are spending a tremendous amount of money air conditioning it and keeping it up to date, the architectural and manufacturer norms. Um, the future, it could be different. The contact's got to be there. There's got to be that personal interaction, but it might be through more video. Or it might be in their driveway. Or it might be in a local parking lot. It might be in an association meeting. You never know where you're going to, in the future, you're going to be engaging these people. The interaction is a given. I do believe that automobile buying is a personal experience. I think it's a, cel uh, a celebrated experience. It's one that people like to share. Uh, social media is a big expression of that. Uh, and I think we need to continue to capitalize on that personal experience. It doesn't necessarily have to be sitting in your showroom, doesn't necessarily have to be sitting in a F&I closer's office. Uh, your um, your uh, salesman in the future may be trained both in sales of a car and F&I. And who knows, they may be notary publics. Uh, where they can notarize standing in a driveway. Those personal relationships are going to continue, but the question is where and how. And I would suggest that you remain light on your feet because technology is advancing rapidly uh, and the um, preferences of your customers are going to become expressed right in front of you and you're going to be able to make the decision it's not whether or not it's going to be personal or not. It's just going to be how and where. Thank you to our strategic partners, The Village, for participating and sharing your perspective. Do you have a burning question you want to discuss with an expert? Feel free to submit it via the Ask an Expert link featured on the page. Continue to listen to this series now or come back later for more. Each question featured may want you to learn something new.